फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन सर एज अ बेसिक ह्यूमन नीड शेल्टर कम्स नेक्स्ट ओनली टू फूड एंड क्लोदिंग इवन द अर्ली मैन डिस्कवर्ड केव्स टू सीक शेल्टर अगेंस्ट द वेगरीज ऑफ नेचर टूडे विद राइजिंग पॉपुलेशन मैनी ऑफ द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज हैव टू कोप विद एंड सफर माल न्यूट्रिशन डिसीज इलिटरेसी एंड हंगर यट इट इज द हाउसिंग प्रॉब्लम विच सीम्स टू बी द मोस्ट इंट्रैक्टेबल वन अबाउट वन फोर्थ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स पॉपुलेशन इज आइदर हाउसलेस और लिवस इन एबिसमली पुअर एंड अनहेल्थी एनवायरमेंट इन इंडिया सर अकॉर्डिंग टू द नाइनटीन एटी वन सेंसस टू लैक अर्बन हाउस होल्ड्स एंड अनदर फोर लैक रूरल हाउस होल्ड्स हैव बीन विदाउट शेल्टर टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट द ओवर क्राउडिंग एंड द ओ फुल कंजेशन एंड द नीड टू रिप्लेस द कच्चा हाउसिस एंड रिपेयर द डीग्रेडिड एंड डिलापीडेटिड वंस द एक्चुअल हाउसिंग डेफिसिट इज टू द ट्यून ऑफ सिक्सटी लैक इन अर्बन एरियाज एंड वन हंड्रेड नाइंटी लैक्स इन रूरल एरियाज दिस डेफिसिट ऑफ हाउसिंग इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू राइज टू फोर्टी मिलियंस बाय द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ए डी सर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द अर्बन पॉपुलेशन इन इंडिया लिवस इन स्लम्स विच लैक और आर टोटली विदाउट बेसिक सर्विसिस another 20% of the urban population consists of households that are slum dwellers and live in single room units sir this is the housing scenario in our country at the moment in the early years of our planning with a weak economy that was inherited at the time of independence housing was not on the top of national agenda the first priority obviously was to provide food for the people a massive national program and endeavor has resulted in self sufficiency in food and we can be legitimately proud of our industrial progress also in the sphere of communications and health services we have made major strides and the government has also intervened to ensure that clothing is provided reasonably to people in the country with a fair amount of success in the other spheres the attention now has obviously to turn to housing and of course to education in the last decade quite a few schemes were promoted for encouraging housing activity conscious that housing is a crucial activity not only for providing vitally important shelter but also for improving the quality of life besides contributing significantly to the national income employment generation government has now come forth with the national housing policy sir it brings me to the state of the capital market vis a vis the budget i would have expected as a student of economics given the budgetary dispensation the capital market should have shown dispensation the capital market should have shown some buoyancy but it seems that optimism is not really evident so far as our investors are entrepreneurs are concerned there are refreshing messages for the export oriented industry there are refreshing messages for a segment of the textile industry particularly the artificial fiber sector so far as the electronics sector is concerned 
considerable relief has been provided. Some is a tire for cement and for those who are involved in the production of electrical equipments. Yet the share market through these industries has not shown buoyancy. In addition, the venture capital fund setup has been revision of a better kind. Still further, the tax exemption has been provided to the dividend income by additional rupees 1000. But all these cumulatively should have added optimism so far as the capital market is concerned. Maybe what somebody called the investors or industrialists are characterized by the Oliver Twist syndrome. Fortunately for history, let it be recorded Oliver Twist needed money. I am not so sure as my friend indicated whether the same is true for our investors. At least all investors or industrialists need to shake off an element of excessive greed. Several things are good, but it is not making them happy. Something which is not there or the lines which are there could be a lot more perhaps will make them happy. This is a part of human expectation, but from the macroeconomic point of view, one would have thought that what they have got they should be grateful for in their own interest if not the interest of the economy. There is a fear that there could be bearish conspiracy and manipulation of the stock market situation. Financial writers have written about it. If this is true, then the finance minister should look into it what is ailing the stock market or the capital market. Some reforms are underway, but perhaps much more needs to be looked into so that things begin to move better than what it is. Related to that is the question of extension of resource base. We have been talking about expansion of the tax base. We should be also talking about expansion of the investment base. The green revolution area has a liquidity. The disposable income of prosperous farmers level is good, but plowing that back through the equity channels or rather through the other instruments of finance remains a relatively neglected area. Store.